In this video, I'm going to show you one more example as far as how to actually set up and work with masks and another thing that you can do with them. So we're going to start from where we did in the previous mask video where we have the composition and the Corgi graphic. The first thing I'm actually going to do though is come down into my composition area for my timeline. I'm going to right click and go to new and choose adjustment layer. Adjustment layers are pretty neat from the standpoint that we can actually attach effects and other miscellaneous presets to them without actually affecting our graphics or video pieces. So under the adjustment layer here, you're going to want to come over to the right hand side and expand out effects and presets. Now I've gone under stylize to really make, you know, to pick something out here that'll kind of really stand out. So what I'm going to do here is let's go ahead and try cartoon. So I'm going to click and drag and drop this onto the layer. So here you can see some things that have changed. Number one, on the left hand side, you now have as far as the graphic is concerned here, you do have the effects and the thresholds that you can work with here. So I want this to stand out just a little bit more. Now the next thing that I'm going to do here though is I am going to come in I'm going to choose the rectangle tool this time to assign a mask to work with the adjustment layer you do the same thing that you did in the pre like in the previous video so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to click and drag and I want you to notice what has happened here it might not be very obvious first here. Notice how on the right hand side we still have the photograph of the dog. But notice here on the rocks and in the ocean here, you're starting to see the effects of how we applied that cartoon effect there. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and come back up and I'm going to come into my mask. Using my selection tool, we're going to work with the mask path here. Now for this mask path specifically, what I actually want to work with here, if I can get them, there we go. I want to select, and I used shift select, to select both of these anchor points here. Because what I want to do is kind of across here, so by me by 30 seconds. I'm going to click and drag across, holding my shift key to keep the gra to keep the line steady. And now what I have is a mask effect. Where if we let it preview out you see how it's growing across the graphic. You can now really start to see it happen on the dog there. So masks on adjustment layers work just like their counterparts that if you were actually assigning them to a graphic or a video. So we can actually kind of combine different types of effects and have them only be present at certain points in time, but also too on certain parts of the graphic. So this can make for a really cool effect as far as if you're working with graphics or videos.